So I think a good question to ask is, why does hypokalemia cause alkalosis? So let, let's go over what exactly is happening uh, to cause hypokalemia, which is decreased potassium, and why that will lead to an increased pH or alkalosis. So if you have a lot of aldosterone production, that means you're going to secrete a lot of potassium in your urine, which means that you're going to be hypokalemic. So you're going to have a decrease in potassium in your body or hypo hypokalemia. Now, what's interesting is that hypokalemia actually stimulates the production of ammonia in uh, cells in the kidney, like the proximal tubule cells. So you'll have cells in your kidney, like your proximal tubule cells, making a lot of ammonia or NH3, and that will then be secreted into your urine uh, or into the filtrate. So you're gonna have a lot of NH3 now in your filtrate that will become urine. And if you have a lot of NH3 secreted into the lumen of like your, of your kidney, of your nephron, what's gonna happen is that's also gonna bind to a lot of hydrogen. So you're gonna have a lot of H plus going and binding to the ammonia to form ammonium. And that ammonium is then going to be secreted. So basically you're losing a lot of H plus because of this NH3 secretion. And that is then going to be in your urine and that will lead to an increase in your pH or alkalosis.